Hello, I would like to talk to you about some of the things in the year 2013 that are happening in astronomy in our own solar system that I think people should be aware of as adult decision-making people. Hello, I would like to talk to you about the comet that just passed with its own orbiting body. Um, it's been written in ancient texts that objects will pass close to the Earth on long elliptical object orbits that appear to be their own solar systems and these texts and interpretations of these ancient Sumerian texts have been dismissed as nonsensical or being misinterpreted and this latest comet that uh, asteroid that went by had some interesting features one, it, uh, one of the angles, it looked round in the image of it. Also, it had its own orbiting feature. Now, up until this time, no one knew that asteroids have their own orbiting bodies because you wouldn't intuitively consider that something that's only a mile point seven in diameter could be dense enough to have its own orbiting body because supposedly our theories of asteroids are that they're ancient remnants of the primordial solar system that they're uh, the ancient remnants of a primordial solar system of light in comparison. But if the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter is comprised of a smashed up planet, then you might have some iron type asteroids and meteors and even heavier objects and anyone could buy on eBay or in rock collections iron meteorites. It's, it's exactly what we see. Smashed up planetary fragments that follows meteorites. Even the case of a 1.7 mile in diameter solid iron asteroid is that seriously dense enough to have its own moon so what are we talking about here look at our moon itself does the moon have its own moon no and clearly the moon is made of planetary materials like iron and, and has its crust so what exactly was that asteroid that passed us with its own satellite we're talking about some kind of um, stellar fragment and in the case of that object and people should be understanding that that is a rare occurrence uh, there are some references in the primary literature to binary asteroids I found three um, these astronomers are finding them uh, 
I, it's not that they are hiding them from anyone. It, no one's looking for these papers, these scientific papers on these objects. So what we can be inferring upon this object with its own moon is actually if there's a supernova remnant, like an SNR fragment, or any similar object, um, maybe a, a magnetic fragment. It would be the really tiny one has a strong gravitational pull and the larger body is orbiting around it. And it's, and the small little fragment is polishing the larger body into a circle because you don't have a perfect Greek circle in nature of these objects so in any case um, this brings to us maybe the texts are trying to warn us something for a reason What you're seeing here is a video provided by NASA of Comet Ison. It's already starting to flare ahead of schedule. In other words, it contains uh, substances that are visible way out there in space and uh, but yet the Sun has an influence on the materials and are making it visible so if you've been keeping track of the dark matter dark energy um, we can only really see and detect with our instruments 8% of what we think is our universe And um, so this comet, ISON, is going to come real close to the inner solar system. And it's you could see for yourself, it goes right on top of Mars. It's going to graze Mars. Um, now, depending on what the comet is made of, and you can see where this is going, Of course, the trajectory is going to change. Um, we have several Mayan calendar time mechanisms um, that describe an age that began in 3114 BC and ended in December 21st, 2012 on 4 How 8 Konkin on the 13th Bakhtin cycle. And it's written in uh, monument number six that God Bolanyakti is going to arrive at this time. And descend from the heavens um, so there we have it it's it, we have these processions of, of comets that I think we should be aware of and it, it's going to be inescapable every eye on the world is going to see comet Ison passes by 
in this slowly stop motion animatronic horror show that's beginning to be visible now and it's just going we're going to watch this thing in slow motion grace us by uh, it's going to be undeniable so all of these kinds of theories are going to be on the table of everything that we know in our knowledge we're going to come together as a civilization and um, watch this thing pass us by now if you consider 8% of the universe is known to us you know it's a humbling experience you should be humbled we should humble ourselves to nature and these objects and um, perhaps uh, you know look up some of these um, tornado shelter underground bunker for yourself and your family and your yard uh, maybe some of these uh, condos and the survivalists condominium complexes you know um, we've seen the electrical effects in the creation of weather that some of these exotic objects are doing to us and there's no mistake about it these objects that are coming by us are exotic objects 